Hi, Carter. Carter. Um, how's the transition, you know, overall been for you so far? Oh uh, man, I you know I think I've I've been adjusting well. Um, definitely a lot of learning. Um, you know, a new new scheme for for all of us. Um, but but being willing to take that coaching and accept it and and realize okay we're gonna make mistakes, but uh, you know we gotta you know make sure we do those. Uh, you know, everything full speed and even the mistakes full speed and, and all that stuff will get corrected in due time and just, um, you know, we'll continue repetition and things like that. But but I've, I feel like I've been doing pretty well. Hey, Michael, what was uh, joining the other Michael Carter uh, in the draft class uh, been for you? How, how much fun have you had with that? And obviously you guys competed against each other. What do you know of him and and, you know, and your your battles together on the on the field? Yeah, it was. It's been pretty cool and and, and kind of ironic that uh, you know we've played against each other for four years. Uh, you know, same name, same rival school, and now uh, you know we're on the same team. That's been cool to to play with that and and uh, you know build our relationship even more um, and get to know each other. So um, you know, be just getting closer and and building that bond with the, with new teammates has been pretty cool. Have you guys had some fun with that, uh, and maybe some of the some of the other rookies with you in this short in this brief camp that you've been together so far? No, I mean we we we've had fun, uh, you know, between each other. Um, the the other people don't too, make too much of a, a fuss about us having the same name. I guess not yet. Um, it hasn't been too much confusion, um, but but you know we've had some fun with each other. But other than that, it's been pretty chill. He talked yesterday. Just one more question on this. Uh, he talked yesterday to us about a couple of. Uh, battles you guys have had on the field where he kind of got you and you got him. Can you talk about any of those moments? Uh, I think maybe he scored a touchdown on you, but you had a pick in the same game or something like that. Yeah, um, that's, that's just part of football. You know, it's that short-term memory. Um, you know, always, you know, trying to out-compete the guy in front of you. Um, and, and that's just the mentality I think we both have, um, you know, when we play each other. Michael, when we talked to Coach Sala um, after you were drafted, he mentioned you could be the nickel, you could be playing free safety. What do they talk to you about sort of the role they envision for you here? Um, I, you know, primarily right now, um, you know, just getting used to the scheme and, and learning that nickel spot um, and, and focusing in on, you know, the, those details and, um, you know, because you got to earn the trust at the at, at one spot before you can, you know, sort of build up that trust to to be able to move around and things like that. So that's what I've been focusing on. How much nickel did you play at Duke? Uh, really, primarily a nickel um, and was that move around guy who would move around and play outside mm -hmm. corner or, or move back to free safety. That's kind of how I was used, but, but mostly um, nickel at, at Duke. That's become like um, a much bigger role in football over the last uh, five, seven years with the way offenses have gone. Um, you know, how do you feel in that spot? What's that? What kind of what's the pressure of that spot versus being on the outside as a corner? Um, for me, you know, I feel really comfortable um, in the slot and covering, um, you know, whoever's in there, the, the smaller, quicker guys and, or maybe. Uh, you know, they might move the bigger guys in the slot as well and, and try to create mismatches and things like that. And I feel like I'm built for for that role. And, and uh, you know, moving outside is more of that island and, uh, you know, you're kind of further away from the help. Um, but but either way, I don't think there's too much pressure, um, you know, playing either spot. Michael, you uh, um, are obviously quite a bit years difference uh, in terms of uh, removed from Jamison Crowder. Uh, at school but uh, do you know him a have you met him and he's obviously one of the you know craftier slot receivers in the game I'm kind of curious what you can maybe glean from from once the veterans and you know covering him in practice yeah um I've met Jamison a few times and, and talked to him and even when I got drafted I think the next day I reached out to him and got his number um and just spoken um you know knowing that I had a Duke guy up here and also a vet who would be willing to, to, you know, teach me and all, as well as the other guys, you know, how to be pros, um, you know, really meant a lot and was, uh, you know, made me feel confident, um, you know, being here. At, and then, um, you know, just having to go up against him whenever, you know, the vets get, get here and, and learning and, uh, you know, us competing with them and them competing with us, uh, you know, we we make each other better. So, um, you know, I feel like I'll make him better and he'll make me better for sure.
when you and he interacted, what any kind of things he said to you in particular, just you know, other than just welcoming you to the team, uh, and you know, any encouragement that he might have given you? Yeah, it was it was more so just you know, welcome to the team and congratulations and anything I you know I needed help with, um, you know, he was willing more than willing to do that. Hey, Michael, I know um, your Duke teammate uh, Mark Gilbert is related to Revis. I'm just curious, did you ever get to meet Revis? Did, was there any ever interaction with him? Yeah, no, I, I never met um, Darrell Revis, um, but that would have definitely been a cool experience. Um, but but learning from Mark um, was a big part of my development, um, you know, when I first got to college um, and, and taking, you know, picking his brain about what he's learned from uh, Revis as well and, and implementing that to myself. So kind of learning from Mark was kind of, you know, that secondhand, um, you know, experience for me. Michael, um, just off, you know, some preliminary looks at the playbook and just learning some of the scheme. What are some noticeable differences between the scheme that you ran at Duke versus the scheme that you're running now with the Jets? Um, you know, I think at this level, it's just, um, you know, a lot more detail um, in, in every aspect of, of how things operate within a defense. And I think, um, you know, that's, uh, you know, being able to pick up on those keys and uh, while moving full speed and, and, you know, trying to diagnose things, it's a lot uh, more and more detail. Um, so, you know, it just takes – that repetition really helps um, getting out there. You know, you see it on a playbook. You got it in your mind. Um, you take notes and hear from the coaches. And then once you get out there and start repping it, um, I think that's that's where the biggest strides are made in, in those continued repetitions. Have you have you modeled yourself after or, or kind of you know looked uh, looked up to any particular uh, cornerbacks over the years in the NFL and and uh, maybe. Who would you try to compare yourself best to in terms of the way you play? Um, you know, I would definitely say, you know, if I had to pick, you know, some guys who I wanted to model my game after and and be like as far as the mentality and, and how they play on the field, guys like Tyra Matthew and Buda Baker for sure. Um, you know, just, just the mental side and that that dog aspect. Um and, and being the aggressor on the field and out competing the guy in front of of me, uh, I think those those two guys are really, um, you know, some players who, you know, I've, I've taken a little bit of, of their game and tried to implement it into my own, especially um, as far as um, mentally and, and how I approach everything in on the field and in life. Michael, if I could ask you another question about the other Michael, so to speak, um, he looks like a pretty tough guy to take down kind of just his body type and whatnot. How would you describe him? And, you know, having gone up against him um, as, as a running back and, 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 and uh, his style. Um, yeah, definitely, you know, hard to take down um, low center gravity on, uh, you know, contact balance is, is really, really good. Um, and so, you know, you really got to, you know, bring your feet in and come with something when you when you try to make a play on him. Michael, um, how many of the other DBs have you reached out to that are already on the Jets? You know, Bryce Hall or um, Marcus May. Like, how many of the other DBs you reached out to, or they reached out to you to you know just converse and learn more about this new scheme? Oh uh, yeah, I, I haven't uh, talked to to many of the the vets yet, um, and that's just you know me trying to to get in and get acclimated to everything, but. But definitely, we'll we'll take advantage of those guys and those resources that they have, um, and just that knowledge. Just be a sponge in this process coming in, um, and can continue to learn every single day.